Smoke, al Dukhan. In the name of God, the Most Gracious, the Most Merciful. Hameen. By the book that makes things clear, surely we sent it down on a blessed night. We have always sent warnings. On that night, every wise decree is specified by our own command. We have been sending messages as a mercy from your Lord. He hears all and knows all. He is the Lord of the heavens and earth and all that is between them. If only you would really believe. There is no deity save Him. It is He who gives both life and death. He is your Lord and the Lord of your forefathers. Yet they toy with their doubts. Wait then for the day when the sky brings forth plainly visible clouds of smoke that will envelop the people. This will be a painful punishment. Then they will say, Lord, relieve us from this torment, for truly we are now believers in you. How can they benefit from admonition, seeing that a messenger had already come to them explaining things clearly? Then they turned away from him and said, He is a madman, taught by others. Were we to ease the torment for a while, you would still revert to denial of the truth. On the day we inflict the direst scourge upon all sinners, we will certainly extract retribution. We tried the people of Pharaoh before them. A noble messenger was sent to them, saying, Hand over God's servants to me. I am a trustworthy messenger for you. Do not set yourselves above God. I bring you clear authority. I have sought refuge with my Lord and your Lord, lest you stone me to death. If you do not believe in me, at least keep away from me. Then he cried out to his Lord, These are sinful people. God said, Set out with my servants by night, for you will certainly be pursued. Leave the sea behind you parted. They are a host destined to be drowned. How many gardens and fountains they left behind them, and cornfields and splendid buildings, and pleasant things in which they delighted. Such was their end, and what had been theirs we gave to other people to inherit. Neither heaven nor earth wept for them, nor were they allowed any respite. We saved the children of Israel from their humiliating torment at the hands of Pharaoh. He was a tyrant who exceeded all bounds. We knowingly chose them above all other people and showed them signs in which there was a clear test. Yet those who deny the truth say, There is nothing beyond our first death. We shall not be raised again. So bring our fathers back if what you say is true. Are they better than the people of Tuba and those who came before them? We destroyed them because they were guilty of sin. We did not idly create the heavens and the earth and all that lies between them. We did not create them save with a purpose. Yet most people have no knowledge of this. Truly, the day of decision is the appointed time for all of them. The day when no friend shall be of the least avail to another, nor shall any be helped save those to whom God shows mercy. Surely He is the Mighty, the Merciful One. Surely the fruit of the Zakum tree shall be food for the sinners. Like the dregs of oil, it shall boil in their bellies, like the boiling of hot water. A voice will cry, Seize Him, and drag Him into the midst of hell. Then pour boiling water over His head as punishment. Taste this, you who considered yourself the mighty, the honorable. This is what you doubted? But those mindful of God will be in a safe place, among gardens and springs, dressed in fine silk and rich brocade, and they will face each other. So it will be. We shall wed them to maidens with large dark eyes. They will call therein for every kind of fruit, in peace and security. They will not taste death therein, save the first death. 
God will save them from the torment of hell as an act of grace. That will be the supreme triumph. We have made this Quran easy to understand, in your own language, so that they may take heed. Wait then, they too are waiting. <laughs>